Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba and welcome to this tutorial. And today I'm going to show you another way of improving a structural model done in Tecla structures. And this is very important when it comes to visual presentation of your steel structural model to clients who normally dig so much on your capability on handling such a project from design to construction and uh we'll get started if you take a look on the screen here today we are on we are starting with sketchup and this is the model that we, that we imported uh from tecla structures and this model was done using the peb peb tools i mean the peb peb tools i mean pre-engineered building tools so we did that in tecla structures and uh, we imported it into 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 sketchup for for us to improve it using some architectural uh, components now we want to again export this to a particular tool that will will help us enhance uh, uh, the uh, the visual presentation of this uh, steel uh, i mean this structure and uh, to do that and uh, sketchup and remember uh, we, our path started all the way from from tecla structures so we are still on tackle structures and uh, inside this sketchup we want to export this to a format that will be will allow us to uh, show these to such can, uh, such particular customers that uh, prefer uh, something seen uh, to show that you are capable of doing such kind of a project now i'll come to a file here and I want to export this file. I want to export this file to 3D model. Now, inside this 3D model, we have uh, formats. I'll click this drop down arrow and we have this font. We have 3D file, we have AutoCAD DWG, we have DX file, we have Collada, we have uh, FBX, we have IFC, we have Google Earth file, we have the OBG, which means object file, a VRML, and uh, X. XCI file. Now, today we want to export this to XB, uh, FBX file. Now, I'll click on FBX file and uh, change the name of this file. I'll give it, I'll give it a name 55, workshop 55, and I'll uh, give it a location on my desktop here. I'll click on desktop and I'll give it that workshop uh, 55. So, I, if I, uh, when I'm done, you'll see when i'm done i'll be i'll be able to track it back to my desktop i'll click export there we are and uh, the exportation process uh, process has just started it normally takes some time so you just have to be patient for the exportation to to finish then we take it to a tool that will help help us improve the visibility uh, of, of our structure so that if we present it to a particular client that will demand so much you want to see the project already finished on the computer we'll be able to present that to them and i'm sure you he he or she will be convinced that you're capable and you have the tools and the, and the experience for such kind of a project let's give it time and export Our, exp our exportation is just about to end and uh, we'll still give it some time to finalize on everything. Now if you take a look here it has been exported you can see here fbx export result a uh, whole year you can see the faces we have 14 something almost a million now i'll go ahead and click ok once i've clicked ok now i'm free to close down the sketchup because we don't want to demand so much from our system because we are going to use another tool to work on that format now for now will exit uh, the uh, SketchUp. I'll come to to Task Manager and I'll terminate this. And I'll close that. Now, I'm going to work with the Lumion. 
I want to use Lumion to improve our model. I'm going to use Lumion. I'm going to use Lumion to improve our model, and I will give it some. Lumion uh, is a software used for rendering purposes, uh, normally for architectural and uh, 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 any presentation work. Now, I'll pick on that option and give it some time to load the scene. And here we are. We we want to bring our structure inside this scene or inside this environment. And how do how do we do that? I'll come to I'll mouse over this. Uh, symbol here you see like uh, a diskette, uh, uh, a storage gadget, gadget that were, were that was used before in those days. Uh, it has a symbol of a diskette here. So just click on this, and you can see up there you can see add a new model, and we want to click on that. And once that has been clicked. We'll, sc we'll scroll down to our exported format here. We have workshop 55 and click on that workshop and we'll click open. Then now we check this add to our library. Click on that and we have to be patient. We we'll give uh, uh, the software uh, to load our model into the into the, the into this environment and we will start working from it from it from that spot. Now you can see the arrow pointing down means our model is ready for placement on this environment. Now, how wh what did we? We just move just slightly away and uh, place it right there. And uh, if you take a look, this is our model inside inside Lumion. Now I'll come here and press Q and take it slightly down and use arrows to, to move it side, move it around while pressing Shift key on uh, on my keyboard here and continuing doing that. Let me take it inside. This is our model inside Lumion, and we want to improve it. Uh, we, we want to improve its visibility. Uh, we want to present a very clean work to to that particular client, and uh, really to convince him that uh, we are capable and we have uh, experience to handle such kind of a project. And just turn that round. Can turn that round also. And use mouse to t to zoom in and out, so that you, ha you can have a clear view of what we are talking about. Now I can uh, turn this round like that, and we'll see our project already inside here. Let me just bring it down slightly. Just bring it down slightly. This is our project, and uh, if I want to turn it round, want to turn it round like that, and bring it that side while pressing Shift. It's a heavy structure; it's a heavy model here, so it it's demanding a lot in terms of graphics from uh, from the system. You can also see here we have millions of 3d points and uh, we can see the f fb fpx which are frames per seconds now uh, let me just turn bring it close turn that turn that slowly because it's heavy and uh, it's it's demanding extremely so much from uh, uh, the computer press shift and uh, you can bring that that side a little bit faster 
you can see the joints here so this is our model done inside and uh, brought into lumion uh, done all the way uh, from uh, tackle structures and we've come all the way to sketchup and uh, we are now we, we are now in uh, in lumion or where we want to create some uh, renders for our steel structural model so that we can share this uh, with whoever we want to show this to or whoever you want to show this to uh, just to show how good you are how, or conversant you are with the, with the, that clip, uh, that particular project you want to present and uh, and do let me just bring it down slightly press shift so that we move faster and if i zoom inside this is what you'll be able to see this is what you'll be able to see this is the model and bring it down slightly once again and uh, we want to position this in a particular position that you will be able to see clearly and uh, let me bring it close bring this close and you can have a closer look have a closer look at this Now, if I bring it this close, or bring it up slightly, and maybe you want to generate some pictures to present uh, to show how your structure looks once. A, uh, uh, once uh, fabricated and erected on site and uh, this is this is pre this presents the location the site location how it will look and uh, the bottom end is uh, the slab that uh, uh, a concrete a, a concrete slab this is a slab down here now you want to generate some pictures from this model and uh, we'll just come to this camera right here and this We've, we've 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 picked this view and uh, we'll pick on the quality of uh, uh, of the photo is a hd uh, 1080 1920 1080 this is a hd and we'll click on that and we'll give it a name maybe dr00 uh, dr55 or we can just give it a good name a workshop a workshop so that it don't confuse when you are trying to track it back on the desktop we'll save it on the desktop here and you click save so the moment you click save you'll see the camera is now doing its job it's being rendered uh, you, you'll be able to see how that is done now this will be just uh, an image and you can share that you can share this and also we are capable of even generating a clip about, uh, on this now we, we can track back we can check our uh, image by coming right there and coming to desktop here and uh, we scroll down to location of our of our image we'll scroll down and we can see uh, the workshop is here so if we double click on that and we'll be able to see how it looks this how it this how it looks now it is on, it is on, on a JPEG uh, format this you can share with, with anybody you can share this through instagram you can uh, share this through uh, whatsapp and that's very cool now i'll close this i'll close that and uh, close that and close this and uh, go back where i was and now we can generate uh, a clip but normally it takes a lot of time to render a clip and uh, i'll show you that on, on the next presentation I want just to share with you on how you can improve the looks of your uh, structural model in uh, a, a structural model done in tackle structures you can take it all the way to sketchup and uh, give it uh, export it in a different format and you can share that and you can share this with uh, 
you can uh, export it to a different format let's let's generate a different clip and we'll give it workshop workshop 2 workshop 7 right there and uh, on desktop there we'll click save and we'll give it some time to render everything here we'll just give it some time to render the images Perfect, it's complete. Now we can go back to our model. And uh, now I can rotate this. Let me just rotate this. Let me just rotate this. And place it into a better position. You can check that. Perfectly done. Thank you for watching this video and uh, let's meet on the next presentation and uh, Maurice Dimba don't forget to subscribe to this channel and bye bye.